everyone. Uh, my name is Jana. I'm an assistant professor here at KTH. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be essentially an essence about one very narrow problem that we are trying to tackle with my group of one PhD student. So um, uh, it's called formal methods based motion planning for autonomous driving. So first of all, what is motion planning? So in motion planning, your goal is actually to go from A to B while avoiding obstacles. So there is your autonomous forklift. Do you want to go? Yeah, uh, there is your green go region. There are a bunch of red obstacles. Do you want to go? Uh, so it's somewhere in between a low level control and let's say high level path planning, routing, stuff like that. And the technique that we chose to, to go with is RT star. Um, so it's sampling based technique. Uh, you throw through a bunch of samples in the space. You try to connect them. It's kind of have a bunch of interesting properties. It's anytime incremental, asymptotically complete and optimal. So you can actually like keep shooting, improving your path as you go and you go. Um, and it can compute in real time, and the more it compute, the better it gets. Uh, well, now, in autonomous driving, uh, what's the problem is that you have a bunch of road rules on top of your go from A to B, right? So those road rules could be something like do not enter the sidewalk, do not go in the wrong lane, um, if there are two obstacles, close to each other, do not do crazy stuff, do not go back to the right lane, and then back to the left lane. Um, there is Vienna Convention that actually says um, all of these, uh, states all of these rules. So it turns out that we can uh, take these rules and specify them in some kind of logic. So suddenly we have them. Oh, so suddenly we have them rigorously captured. Don't worry about how we really do that. Uh, let me just say it's a temporal logic, somewhat close to propositional, just a bunch of other operators. People are working on uh, formalizing Vienna Convention into this so that we get a complete set of rules. Uh, now, our goal is to go from A to B while avoiding obstacles and following the road rules. So what you hope for is, this is the very simplified thing, if the purple stuff is the sidewalk, you just want to go in the right lane and reach the goal region in the optimal way. Uh, so it turns out we can do RT star with additional temporal logic constraints if you just fit it in and it works pretty nicely. But this is not how life works, right? Um, sometimes the road rules are simply not feasible. So if you are in a green car, you are going to the, to the B spot. So far, so good. There is a red car standing there. Um, are you going to say abort mission? No, you are going to go. Right, and this is something that we want the autonomous vehicles to do some uh, as well, to somehow smartly disobey the road rules just for the time that they need to do that. So uh, we developed this least violating RT star. So what it does is essentially it weights the satisfaction of the formulas with some numbers, and uh, you feed it into RT star. What comes out is uh, the part that is going tightly by the obstacles. We don't have to say it, go tightly by the obstacle. It computes by itself. So essentially, uh, this is uh, from a few years back. This is uh, an implementation of, uh, of the least violating RT star on, um, on Singapore golf cart at the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology. I worked with uh, MIT on this project, um, it went tightly by the obstacle. So this is the computation of the RT star. You can see how uh, how the target region is gradually shifting. And we go, compute, take the best, and we keep going. And uh, there should be one more. Uh, yeah, so here you see it goes by the obstacle and kind of returns back. Um, we don't have to tell it. It's, yeah, it's silly when you compare it to where we are today, but yeah. Uh, anyways, if we look a little bit more into the future, we will probably have fleets of autonomous vehicles. All of them will be autonomous. They will be able to collaborate on actually achieving what they want to achieve together. So that's what we are looking into right now. 
uh, into some sort of socially optimal motion plans for everyone. And that requires that we do motion planning in joint spaces of the vehicles. This is my uh, student's latest work. Again, very silly simulations, but again, I have one per person team plus a few collaborators. Uh, well, that's basically it. Thank you. If you have questions, email me, please.